Now just a couple more things before you're ready to go. When the all your transmitter and your receivers are on, you have to make sure that this swash plate here is perfectly horizontal. Now how you do this is you can actually use an Allen key, tie it to this main shaft here, and see that it connects at all times throughout the entire thing during the setup process. If it's not, then of course you can visually just inspect that it's horizontal and not tilting either forwards or backwards. How the controls work is that as you, this is a mode two, meaning that the mode two, your left hand controls the throttle and your right hand controls what we call the cyclic. Basically that means that your right hand will be controlling this swash plate here. So as you move your stick forwards, the swash plate move forwards. Same thing if you move it backwards, the swash plate moves backwards. When you turn it to your left, it will be to the left of the helicopter. And if you put it to the right, the swash plate moves to the right of the helicopter. Now very important to note is, this left hand here which controls the rudder, it's very important to note that your rudder controls the nose and not the tail. So as you tilt left, what happens is that this helicopter is supposed to have the nose tilted to the left. As you tilt left. And same thing when you put it right, obviously, the nose will turn right. 